Lumina Square in front of the HIA club. There's so many people at Lumina Square today. Ooh, okay, I get to put this on autoplay. Uh, Satan! Oh. Listen, they're not they're not talking about us. Don't worry about it. They, they don't know. Uh, that's not Faithin, it's no face. It's not surprising you confused them. Ever since Faithin went quiet, no face has been one of the top proxies. What's so great about Null Face? Are they really that good? Up against the famed Section 6 with the Void Hunter Miyabi in charge? I'd say Null Face is out of options. Whoa! Lady Miyabi is here! I don't blame her for reacting like that. Huh? 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 First off, the sign is normal. The figure's crazy. The fact that the figure has her looking all like giving you a side eye is actually hilarious, though. Then you have the badge. And then the shirt. The shirt is wild. Player representation in the game. Yeah, this is your uh, Hoyoverse simp right here. Yes. Pretty accurate. Let us continue. What are you, speed? You here barking? The girl who did uh, the Step On Me line is Acheron's voice actress. Wait, really? I did not know. I didn't even notice. Bro. I need to hear this again, cause there, there ain't no way. I ain't letting this one slide. Give me a sec. Can I, can I hear this line again? Lady Miyabi, please step on me. I'm, I'm gonna let this play again. I could never. No wonder it's so crowded. Barking is insane. Oh, fans of Section 6. Looks like they're fans. Should we get out of here? <sighs> they're they're, they're past the point of just being fans. Like no face. Uh, what are you talking about, Bell? These are, these are freaks. Citizens. What's wrong, Deputy Chief? It's probably just my imagination. But I feel like something is about to happen. Uh-oh. Well, it seems that you were right. Bro said as bull brother, you'd be mooing any- I would not be mooing. Listen, I don't bark or make any- I don't make any animal noises when I'm freaking down bad, okay? That's not what I do. Alright. <clears throat> You think that I would, I'm not, actually I'm not going to ask that because y'all are just going to say yes, you think I would do that, but I wouldn't in actuality. Alright, um, hey, it's Tsukishiro from Section 6, congrats, you sorted out that troublesome case, right? Ah, you're from Section 9, thank you for your concern regarding that case, there are still some loose ends need, uh, that need to be tied up. Oh, good job, it must be, it must have been pretty tough. The consensus at the case briefing was that the case required immense intelligence work. As an intelligence officer, your contributions were indispensable. You're too kind, it's just part of my duty. It wasn't too much work, nor can I claim the credit alone. It was a team effort. She had the classic, it, it, it really isn't just me, it's everybody together. Well, Alright, um, you're always so modest. That bro said, um, section 6, section 9? Gooner. Alright, you're always so modest. That's why out of everyone in Section 6, you're my favorite to work with. Oh, by the way, someone was looking for you. Looking for me? This song, though. Listen, Zenless, don't think I ain't gonna notice you got these little, little jammers. An HIA staff member was just asking me to contact in Section 6 to discuss cooperation. I didn't even hesitate to tell him, you wait for Deputy Tsukishiro Yanagi, she's the only reliable one in Section 6. Please don't say that next time, all of our executive officers are reliable. 
<laughs> Sorry, my bad. I didn't even think you'd be afraid of extra work. Anyway, that HIA guy is probably waiting for you at the Section 6 office. You better go meet them as soon as possible. You said, hey, they're the ones who put it there. I mean, that is true. That is true. I'll let you off the hook. This time. But let me find out you actually a gooner. You ain't gonna be off the hook then. Hey, yeah. Alright, let me... Let, let me do a walk over here. Jesus. Yeah, they, uh... They went crazy with that piano on this song, bro. Oh, yeah. You know what's funny? Like, this area, I don't know. It made me think, like, this is gonna be really r random, but just with, like, how this area looks with all this stuff, it, it, it randomly made me think of, like, Arknight's Enfield, of, like, a specific area that I was in in that game when I was playing the beta. Speaking of which, does anybody even know when that game drops? I mean, take your time with the game. I don't want it to drop and be garbage, but, like, huh? Physics, yes. Hey, I love realism. <laughs> uh... Yeah, baddies after baddies. Two different types of baddies there, huh? All right, the executive officer, Tsukishiro, do you want to enter the office? Uh, I do. What else am I going to do around here? Oh, maybe I could have talked to some other NPCs or whatever. Hey, Sakaku. Wow, well, Sakaku, you are short. In all actuality, Sukaku is probably around my actual height. Jeez. Like, look, bro, look at this. Good lord. All right, anyways. Um, okay, well, you are wearing heels at the same time, but I mean, you're still tall. All right. There are some ABC handwriting books on Sukaku's desk and filing cabinet. Want to read through them? Sure, take a look. Based on Sukaku's penmanship inside, they aren't much... They these aren't so much ABC handwriting books as they are XYZ mistake-making books. Wouldn't it, you? Look at the stuff on each one of their desks. So you got your book. You got some snacks. Okay, that's an Oni. That's something. All right. Um. Okay. Damn. Yanagi's file. Childish doodles. Oh. Oh, that's cute. So Kaku's painting, it's hard to tell who the girl standing by her is. Suppose that triangle poking out of the top of the head is a theory in here, and supposing new Eridu's youngest void hunter betrays a cute and charming smile like this, then that's Miyabi. So Kaku really has an eye for painting. Hmm. An impressive stack of official documents is piled up on the filing cabinet beside Yanagi's desk. Should we look through some? Yeah. There are 22 documents tagged, due EOB today, and another 56 tagged, due EOB tomorrow. And that's not even counting all of the folders on the desk. What does EOB stand for? I'm stupid. I'm not even going to try to use my brain right now. Um, you said Stellar Blades. You know, I didn't get to play. There, there's so many games this year that I did not get to play, bro. And Stellar Blade is one of them. Chief, the cliff, uh, the, the, not the cliff board. Chief, the clipboard says you have a regular meeting today. Don't forget to attend, okay? If you hadn't reminded me, I would have blissfully forgotten about it. Are you planning not to attend? If you, end of business, okay. Thank you. Even if you forget, there will, there will be consequences. Have you forgotten last time already? A member of the Hoshimi family won't make the same mistake three times. I've already come up with a strategy to avoid punishment. <laughs> yeah, we definitely got to pull for Miyabi, dude. For sure. Who was in charge of maintenance last time? You're probably the one that I don't really know too much about. Asaba? Deputy Chief, you worked hard. New Eridu has been calm recently, and the citizens are at peace. Is there really a need for us to be on duty? Really? I'll go ask the director in your name if he agrees that everything is calm and peaceful then. Oh, come on, Deputy Chief. That reply is even less entertaining than your usual jokes. Hmm. Okay. And here we are. 
Ah, Deputy Tsukishiro. Thank you for your hard work. Are you free right now? Of course, what is it? Is there any case update from the intelligence department? Oh, that's not it. It's just that our colleagues from the logistics and, and intelligence departments want to have a small gathering. Hands ladies night. Oh, hand ladies night. Hey, you know? Oh, wait, give me a sec. What the hell, chat? What the hell? Oh, hell no. I saw like a tiny, like just one tiny sugar ant. The, like there's no ants in my room just so you know but i just saw one tiny sugar ant randomly like on the mic and i was like oh hell no i tried to kill it that thing disappeared i don't know where that thing went what the fuck give me a sec where did that thing go that thing just finessed me huh huh now i'm tripping now I'm tr sorry. Not that that thing tripped me out. You ever try to kill a bug and then it just like yeah, bro entered the mic. Like you ever try to kill a bug and then it just disappears and it starts tripping you out, bro? Sorry, chat. I just all right. I guess I guess bro lives another day. All right. Hand ladies night. The last time you organized it, it was fantastic. Oh my god, Aunt Samar. Oh my god, Aunt Samar. A N S. Okay. All right, I'm done. Oh, Lord. Oh, here, give you a little. No, that that one was actually like I didn't find it funny, but I don't think it was like a bad pun because it worked. Like, it, I'll actually like I'll I'll give that one to you. It was a good pun. I'm just not gonna laugh at it. All right, this time we want to treat you. <laughs> I'm glad everyone enjoyed themselves. Let's talk about the gathering arrangements before the next holiday. Oh, uh, yeah, yo, this time it includes soft drinks, so you could bring little uh, Sokaku along. Okay. And you said check the desk? Okay, right, because there's some more desks to get checked out, huh? What's this? Who left this game of tic-tac-toe on an office desk of the chief of section 6? Judging by the results of the match, both sides are evenly matched. Hmm. Miyabi's desk is littered with scrolls, and the parts you could make out appear to be secrets of clan swordsmanship. Should we unroll one and take a look? Yeah. He spread out the incomprehensible document and discover a half-written hollow event report inside. Everybody knows that work doesn't, uh, okay, everyone knows that work doesn't just disappear if you hide it. Mm. Bro said those look meaty. Big meaty claw. Okay. Um. There's a medical file on Harumasa's desk. Want to look at it? Sure. Har uh, Harumasa is in the picture, was the picture of poor health, judging by the various indicators of his report again. <sighs> Please, can you confirm the patient's name once more? It's got nothing to do with Asaba Harumasa. Oh. Family? Has to do with for them? For him? Alright, what's, what's with them doodles in there or nothing? Alright, let's get it started. Hello. You're the HIA rep who booked to discuss cooperation today, right? Yeah. I I'm going to respond clearly and directly, explain why I'm here, and show off my cool professional side. Okay, buddy. Uh, did you mean to say that out loud? Uh, I'm so sorry. That's me. Uh, I mean, I'm me. I mean, I'm the HIA rep. Yes. I swear I didn't sound this stupid when I was practicing in my head, but just... Thinking about talking with an elite from Section 6 made me... Max Middleman, I'm familiar with your game. You can't fool me, I know that's you. I recognize that voice. Come on now. Come on now. I've heard <laughs> that voice too many times. We're no different from any other task force. Except... Yanagi, can I skip the next chief briefing? I'd like to continue my training of never attending briefings. 
That training will only get you complaints and a bonus cut. You have to attend the briefing, Chief. Nagi, what's this lunchbox with barely a meal written on it? Is it a snack? Can I eat it? No, you can't. That's medicine. Asaba brought it to use as proof when he was pretending he had a stomach ache to get a sick day. What? Deputy Chief, how did you know I was faking it? I mean, how could you accuse me of that? Wow, yeah, you because really covered that one up, buddy. The request you submitted last week had a photo of this exact same box. I rejected tonight's leave request on behalf of the Chief, so don't forget about your night shift. Good job. Wow. Tuning out the bickering behind her, a mix of immaturity, calm reasoning, and fake sickness, the tall deputy chief and intelligence officer kept her poised, friendly smile as she turned back to the visitor. Yeah, what a group we have, huh? Forgive me. Now, where were uh, Where were we? You were saying yes. you're no different from the other task forces? Exactly. Everyone's personalities are just a little more distinct. So let's get to the matter at hand. What did you want to discuss? All right. I'm here on behalf of the HIA to invite Section 6 to participate in a test of our latest next-gen VR system. All the necessary application processes have already been confirmed with the higher-ups. Ah, so that's what it is. Yes, I did receive a note from the department head, assisting our partner organization in refining their new VR system by entering the virtual space as test users to evaluate system performance. But if I remember correctly, it said it would be voluntary. If you'll allow me to ask everyone first... If participating in this means I can skip the briefing, I'm in. Mm. Do we get to go to the HIA? She does not want any part of that briefing. Oh, they've got snacks there! I wanna go! And you really like snacks! Uh -huh. okay. Doing the VR test means I can skip my shift, right? Count me in. Man, none of y'all wanna do your damn job. All right. As you can see, <laughs> that's what I'm getting from this. Section in six don't want to do jack. They do. They want to do anything but their normal job, huh? Fantastic! I'm gonna tell everyone at the office that it was my professional communication skills that got Section Six to work with us. Maybe I'll even sneak a selfie as a souvenir. Bruh. You're thinking out loud again. And this is a classified area, so taking pictures is prohibited. Yeah, no pictures. Gasp. Bro said gasp. Later, Hollow Special Operations Section 6 arrive at the HIA. You said just like a certain squad from Ark Knights, Yanagi's Orchid, Sokaku's Poppy Car, the guy is the vampire dude. And Yanagi would be spot. Mm. Deputy Chief Sukishiro, hello. We are so grateful that everyone from Section 6 could spare some time to assist us in collecting data for the VR system. Thank you so much. I'm in charge of the test today. It's uh, nice to meet you. We should be thanking you. It's been, uh, it's very nice to be working with you. Oh, I heard way back that you're Lady Miyabi's most trusted person. She's entrusted almost everything. No, all the paperwork and uh, liaison. Li okay, liaison. Uh, task to you. So it's no exaggeration to say that you're the one who actually bears the responsibilities of the chief of Section Six. In addition to your duty as, as an intelligence officer and the daily tasks of a deputy chief, you have to do so much in place of the chief. It must be exhausting living like that, right? When you open your eyes in the morning, you probably don't want to go uh, to work at all. You're quite straightforward, aren't you? Oh no, I'm sorry. Did I actually come off too straightforward? Actually, I've always had trouble grasping the sense of distance with my colleagues, which is an issue on my part. It's not a weakness. We have people in Section 6 who are far more set in their ways, but they're all out-and-out um, out experts when it comes to compete, uh, completing things in their work domain, and that's good enough. One of my responsibilities is to handle all necessary communications beyond the scope of their job, <laughs> like what we're doing now. <laughs> Thank you for understanding. <laughs> are you going to check up on how test preparations are going? We're all set up and ready to go here. Just bring in everyone and we can start the test anytime. I'll be waiting for you all at the club. I see. I'll go and rally everyone. Alright. Find my teammates. What you What do you have to eat to get blue skin? Mm. No idea. Blueberries? Bruh. This is hilarious. So Kaku really uh 
is cute as a button. 10 years back, my precious daughter was also just as innocent and pure. She used to love eating the apples from the garden. Goodness me, what happened to your daughter? She, she is now currently studying for a doctorate in ether physics and only comes home on the weekends and all she talks about is school this, school that. It's not cute at all. Damn. Uh, growing up, am I right? They grow up so fast. And then uh, the wholesomeness is gone. And, and life hits you. And instead of talking about cool little things that you learned as a kid and found really amusing, you're talking about bills and classes you're taking that are stressing you out. And, and student loans. And okay, uh... <laughs> you just wanted to show off about your daughter. Okay, enough about my daughter. Here, Sakaku. Have an apple. Oh, thank you. Apple so good. Nagi, you want one too? Bruh. She's talking like mid-eating the apple. Sokaku, how many times have I told you that you might get in trouble if you take food brought by normal citizens? Listen, you don't know what people be putting in food. You can't just be grabbing food from people. Especially these days. I saw this year for Halloween, you know what I saw people doing in, in videos? You know those like... The M&M's that are in like the long capsule type thing, they open it up, there wasn't M&M's, there was full-on glizzies in those things. What type of monster would do that? Wasting perfectly good glizzies for no damn reason. Alright, trouble, D don't, don't worry, Nagi. Ani, Ani, uh, sorry, I said Ani, bleh. Oni livers, duh, not Ani, Oni. Oni livers have powerful detox functions. It doesn't even matter if I eat food that's gone bad. Damn, you could just eat whatever, huh? That's not what I meant. If you always gobble down whatever they give you, then your fans will be embarrassed to show up empty-handed. In the long run, it will be a burden for them. Oh yeah, that's right. Excuse me, even though I am really hungry, I don't want to eat anybody out of house. In a, I don't want to eat anybody out of house in a home. I, w I want everybody to be happy when they come and meet me. Whoa, Sakaku, are you an angel? You're definitely an angel, right? Nagi, can I, I, can I accept all their gifts? Look, a really pretty hairpin, a new Eridu guardi uh, guardian badge, and this braided bracelet that says Sokaku is 10th cutest in the world. 10th cutest in the world is crazy, damn. The whole world? 10th cutest, that's impossible. Our Sokaku has to be the number one cutest. Mm. Well, upon closer inspection, it actually says the cutest, bruh. If that's so, then I guess you should wear everyone's uh, gifts then, Sokaku. <laughs> awesome. So, Sokaku, the test is ready to begin. Please say goodbye to everyone and come find me at the club. Sure thing, Nagi. I'll finish up here real soon, then head over. Sokaku really is adorable. He said, hey, the Mew Mew in the back, F you. Hey, Mew Mew. Where the hell Mew Mew? Mew Mew? You can stay over there. Don't come up across the street, Mew Mew. You ain't gonna have legs. Them ankles are mine. Alright, uh... How you doing? Oh, I didn't even notice these two right here. That's funny. Hi. I can't believe I'm seeing the real Section 6. That's awesome. I can feel my heart racing. My heart's also racing, but it's probably for a different reason than yours. What do you mean by that? I'm so happy. This is the first time I've ever seen, well, I've ever been so close to, okay, Haruma-sama, okay, Haruma-sama-masa, Jesus, that's a long name, First, uh, she said, you're so handsome, your hair so soft, that guardian badge on his chest suits you so well, you smell so good, a light herbal aroma, is it pheromones, it's definitely pheromones, right, Jesus, Tell me, tell me, what type of girls are you into? Do you prefer a summer or a winter? What brand of shampoo do you usually use? Where do you go for archery practice? Carbon fiber or fiberglass bows? Do you have an older sister? I really want to be your older sister. Can I be reborn as your older sister? Trying to be stepsister or something? What's going on with this? You seem pretty busy there, Asaba. Deputy Chief, save me. Save you. I could, but you can't be late for your weekend overtime. And you have to submit your mission reports on time. 
my chest feels tight. What if I just so happen to get sick this weekend? Goodbye then. WG Tsukishiro, okay, whatever you say. Ahem. <clears throat> Asaba, our mission's about to begin. Without your bow and arrow, the city may be in grave danger. Tie things up with your fans fast, and we'll be waiting for you in the club. As you wish, Deputy Chief. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. It would probably drive me insane to be, like, to walk outside and a bunch of people try to talk to me. Or just be, like, simping all the time. Like, you know, you would probably feel cool about it at times, but then there would be times, probably most of the time, where you would, like, want to jump through your window. Cause he's like, bro, leave me alone. I'm just trying to go do stuff. Y'all over here gooning. Just, yeah, that would, that would definitely piss me off. Like, can you imagine you're trying to go, go somewhere to eat and you're getting stopped by people like 50 times? Oh my God. <clears throat> Pheromones don't exist. It's just a general body odor. Lord, uh, I would say Lord Miyabi. Lady Miyabi, thank you. Thank you. You just eliminated the companion hollow that killed my parent. Oh, <laughs> they killed my parents. Um, I could start a new life and it's all thanks to you. I came here just to express my gratitude. I want to become stronger. If I could keep working hard, surely I'll be as strong as Lady Miyabi one of these days. How can I get powerful like you, Lady Miyabi? Tell me how. Wow, have you been through this power? Have you been this powerful ever since you were a baby? What runs through your head when you draw your katana? The mysteries of martial power? The ultimate truth? The universe? Or what you're having for lunch? Weird question. When I draw my blade, I just think about drawing it. That's all. I see, just like the badge in your chest says. Truly a thought process. Worthy of being new Eridu guardian. The glazing is crazy. Noted, I'm already outside your apartment, so look through the window and say cheese. Oh, hell no. You ever heard peanut butter jelly with the baseball bat? You heard that one before? All right, um, <laughs> okay, well, that wasn't a, a good high. <laughs> what a classic chief thing to say. Yanagi, there you are. Are all preparations ready for the combat test? All preparations have been made. Once you're finished with your duties here, chief, please proceed directly to the club. Hmm, let's blitz through this and get home early. There are still fragments of the null face group at large, so we can't let our guard down. That's what I was thinking. Hopefully we could wrap this test up quick and easy. I've notified everyone. So now, um, Miss Yanagi. Oh, huh? oh, it's you. Long time no see. Ah, uh, Miss Yanagi, do you remember me? Even though we haven't talked directly, I remember there was a period of time where I saw you often. You even helped our staff maintain order when some citizens got a bit too excited. Correct? Wow, you have such good memory. I couldn't follow Section Six uh schedule recently because I was preparing for an interview. It seems like the interview went well, yes? Yes, I achieved my dream, my, my dream, <laughs> my dream, working for the government and the mayor. Huh, congratulations. But that job is the is in the Vulcan uh, quarter. Okay, I probably won't have the chance to see everyone from Section 6 anymore. Oh, damn, farewell, huh? Can I just say that Section 6 has always been my motivation? I'm going to protect this city just like you all in my own way. So before I leave, I want to take a photo with all four of you. I I know this request is a bit abrupt. Of course, it would be an honor for us. Please wait a moment. I will convey your wish to my colleagues. Okay. Oh, look. We got our we got our squad in here too. All right. On the count of three, a one, a two, a three. You said no. I know. Um. Bro, oh hell no, I ain't even gonna freaking finish reading that. I, I see the JK, by the way, but that's an insane comment. Oh hell no. <laughs> yeah, Faith and Bombed. I'm a, wow. I'll treasure this photo for my whole life. Wait, I didn't blink, right? Excuse me. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Yanagi. Thank you, Lady Miyabi. Thank you, Little Sokaku. And thank you, everyone from section six thank you mm -hmm. thank you for your support your work in the vulcan quarter will definitely go well well good luck out there yeah you know what i noticed she didn't even say his name i did notice that i was like damn she did bro like that and she didn't even mention my name am i the only one who's everyone from section six 
Do you like being called that? I'll call you that from now on. Chief, tell me, are you genuinely that clueless or the evilest uh, to grace this world in the last hundred years? Maggie, when are we going to the HIA club for snacks? It's not for snacks, but for work. I believe they've all finished up with preparations. I'll go ahead. You all take your time to catch up. Alright. Yeah, I feel bad for bro. They did him like that. My guy got Mike wazowski on the magazine, but verbally. They did his ass dirty. They said, yeah, you're the least popular of section six over here. Deputy Chief Tsukishiro, you're back. Is everyone from section six ready to go? Yes, they'll be arriving here shortly. Since we have some time before we begin, there's something I'm curious about and would like to ask you if that's all right. Uh, of course! Where would you like to start? Uh, here's my electronic medical record with all my physiological information, and here's my- Calm down, brother. Just scan a Calm down. Friend. No verification needed, and this is my- Oh, hold on. Yeah? You misunderstand. I'm not interested in you personally. I just wanted to ask a few technical questions about the- Bro's gonna cry himself to sleep. Uh, uh, I see. Sorry about that. I got a little excited there and misunderstood. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Bro, he's gonna go home and get the ice cream and go to the corner of the bed. That's all you could do at that point, bro. Maybe sit in the bathtub with the shower going and just, yeah, just. Yeah, that was bad. That was real bad, brother. Yikes. Uh, can stealing your tears with laughter just makes you sound even more pitiful. Oh my god. Like, I felt that in my chest after she said that. That was... That was rough. That was pretty rough. He answers Yanagi's questions one by one with an overly cheerful yet seemingly tearful voice. Oh my god. Later, Yanagi holds a small briefing with her teammates who have just waved goodbye to their fans. Our mission is to collaborate across departments to help the HIA test their latest VR system. Okay, so we're testing VR systems out. Interesting. Basically, the core feature of this new VR system is its unprecedented deep sync with sensory nerves. Simulations with such deep levels of immersion are better at tricking the brain into improved training results by convincing your body that a virtual experience is in fact real and not just visual stimulation. Oh. Of course, they've blocked off all pain sensors for this test. The plan is to roll out this new VR platform to public security, the defense force, regular investors, I mean, VR kind of scary, bro. Public. So a standardized value system needs to be developed. Like the first time I ever like used a VR headset, I was playing like this boxing game and bro, and, like when you try VR for the very first time, it's pretty overwhelming. So like I was acting like I was actually in there. Like and this man, this dude was huge that was fighting me like man, bro was built like king k rule or something so he's swinging on me and stuff and i'm trying to move around and swing and he's like beating my ass so i'm like oh shoot so i'm here trying to swing move around and stuff and you know what happens i'm i'm actually like moving around and i freaking like i'm i like I, I was like trying to dodge and i smashed straight into the freaking fireplace and then i fell over on the floor that was my first vr experience bro have I heard of the Amazing Digital Circus? I watched the first video on it. I haven't watched the second video on the Amazing Digital Circus. I should, but uh, yeah, I reacted to the first part on the channel. So, would you look at what they invented? Uh, so, in ZZZ, what could possibly go wrong? That's, that's the phrase right there. What could possibly go wrong? Nothing, everything is, everything is fine. Our task is to enter the simulation and conduct comprehensive battles. The text here will set our combat data as the maximum limit inside the system. Once we finish modeling all the virtual data, our mission will be complete. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. Any questions? I, I got the understanding. Question. Okay, what's your question? I've already persuaded the staff to help us submit the task report after it's completed. So you'll just need to notify the director when we're done, Chief. No further questions from me. Hmm. Me, me. The What's up, Sakaku? will provide us with work meals and some snacks. I've asked them to allocate extra for you. We already knew you were gonna ask about the Yay! snacks. You're the best, 
Snuggy. Yeah, we got you. I have a question as well. What do you want? No, you may not take. <laughs> All right then, if there are no further bro, questions. This, bro, bro keeps trying to just haul ass. I wasn't asking about taking any leave. Oh, okay. Oh, what are you asking about then? My mistake. That's odd. Odd. I think it's odd that you know the answer before even hearing the question. If I tried that with the girls in the intelligence unit, they'd think I was stalking them. Hmm? Okay, so what's your question? How long are we supposed to conduct comprehensive battles? Oh my god. See, he didn't straight up say he wanted to leave. He's just trying to figure out how long it's going to take because bro wants to leave. Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. There is no time restriction. It depends on the HIA's requirements. However, based on the design of this test system, the session will end automatically once we defeat all the test monsters. Okay, let's whoop What's the monsters' that asses. Holding? It's the technical manual for the VR system. I borrowed it from the staff. Most of the information I just shared came from it. What does it say on page 273? It covers the three methods for initiating safe mode within the system and an analysis of their applicable scenarios. That's weird! You said that without even flipping through the book! Did you memorize the whole thing? If you keep this up, you'll start losing your hair. Huh? Yanagi. I want you to be the executor of my estate after I retire. I mean, I will say that's insane for him to just say a random page and you actually know what's on it. That's some next level just like brain power, like your IQ is through the freaking roof. It's a little early to be planning for that, Chief. Alright, let's put the strange questions aside and get ready to start testing. Um, Nagi, are there any unknown dangers in this virtual world? Don't worry, the HIA staff will be with us every step of the way. What could and possibly also, go wrong? I'll be here. I'll take care of everyone. Alright. I'm ready. VR time, baby! Hey, what's going on over here? Alright. Let me in there. Proceed with the VR test? Yes. Just as it says in the manual, when everyone shouts the key phrase at the same time, the system will start loading up the test stage. The key phrase is, to protect the city, I, I, Professor Mimi, will become light. So your name is Professor Mimi, I take it? No, that's just an example. The cat who lives in our lab is called Professor Mimi. Oh, that's adorable. All together now, to protect the city, Hoshimi Miyabi, well, I, Hoshimi Miyabi, will become light. To protect the city, I, Asaba, Kuramasa, will become uh, light. To protect the city, I, Serkaku, uh, will become light. To protect the city, I, Tsukishiro Yanagi, will become light. There you go. Let's get it. VR time, boys. Yeah, I feel like VR... Oh. Made me think of some, like, Digimon type shit. Like, the, the way that this looked here. That's where my brain went. Let me mm. see that. Snacks. It's got a realistic weight too. All right then. <laughs> Dang. My weapon feels Fruit perfect ninja. too. Simulating it to this level. Well done. Oh, wow, getting complimented by Biabi. I'll never forget this day. To make testing easier, I've added a progress marker for everyone. <laughs> when it turns green, it means the background data collection is done. Okay, bet. And that's the sign we're done for the day, right? Well then, let's begin the combat test. Let's get it. Bro said, hello, I'm new. Hi, new. How you doing? You know, I know, Miyabi looks sick. All right, let's get it. I already know how to play as you. The Aye! first batch of test targets has been deployed, so it's rebels. They talk less than actual rebels, which is good. Let's get it. Yeah. that Bang Boo make a door show up? What the hell? A joint effort. Keep your eyes open. Nope. There we go. A joint effort. So Kaku, I think he's dead. In pursuit. 
F boo I open up. Oh my god. You just bro, you really like puns. Like I swear, you just love them things. You know, like back in the day, like when I was like in middle school, I freaking loved freaking puns. I don't really be making them like that no more. Is this a training program for Hollow Raiders? I've always wanted to see what they can do. Oh. Hell no. Combat isn't my thing. A joint effort. Resistance to key attacks. Come here. This is overkill. I just want to pop this. For dramatic effect. I had to. I knew that was the last enemy. You know, Yanagi's fun. I feel like I'm I'm getting like the the hang of her right now. That ain't uh Bang Boo, that's Doramon. Hey! I know who that is. It's actually funny that you mention that. That freaking Digimon. Anyways. Um The virtual arena suddenly but I didn't get the read! Collected. And that concludes the test. Thank you everyone for your cooperation. The virtual arena suddenly loses all of its deadly aura as the snarling digital enemies freeze in place, striking poses, a slightly distorted voice from the staff echoes through the virtual space. Cooperation. Okay. Continue. Autoplay. Hmm. That was a solid combat simulation. Almost too real. The downside is, it ended too quickly. Now I have to sit through that meeting when we get back. Mm. Uh, I'd much rather slack off here than work overtime. Wait, that's not right. Even though my body's resting, my mind's been working overtime. I haven't slacked off at all. Oh my god, this what 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 a shame, bro. Mental exhaustion. Y'all lazy ass Deputy bastards. Chief, what's another way to describe it? <laughs> Karma. But we did finish sooner than expected. Was the data collection successful? Everything went smoothly. To avoid delaying everyone's work, we accelerated the back-end data modeling process. What I find so funny is this group is so highly skilled, but they're so damn lazy, bro. Do you still want a group photo? Since we're done early, I can arrange that for you. Group photo? What do you mean? <laughs> Didn't you say you wanted to sneak a selfie as a souvenir? Hey, yo. Uh, oh, yeah, I did say that. But I know Section 6 is super busy. They ain't that busy. Listen, they ain't that damn busy, clearly. They just don't want to be doing shit. Huh? We're heading straight back. But what about the meals? Ah, uh, we'll have the meals packed up and delivered to you. I'll bring up the logout menu now. Please hit confirm when you're ready. Everybody's like, no, this happened. Like, right we, we, we finished this way too fast. All right, a semi-transparent dialogue box suddenly appears in the air with the system text asking, are you sure you want to proceed? Everyone reaches out. Their fingers flickering uh, toward the flickering confirm button, and then you have now logged out of the system. You said lazy's only the guy; the others are just dumb or children. <laughs> the HIA seriously? Thanks everyone for your help. We will definitely be putting Section 6's combat data to good use. I'm just glad we were able to be of service. If it's alright, we'll be off now. Please head to the parking lot, and there's an official car waiting for you. And we'll take you all back, just like how we brought you here. Meanwhile... Alright. Uh, when are they coming out? I've been wanting... I've been waiting here since this morning, and I really want to see Lady Miyabi again. Me too, I've got more questions for Haruma-sama. Oh lord. So Kaku must be hungry right now, should I order her some takeout? Jesus. Y'all really are like, the ultimate like fanatics over here, dude. Citizen, citizens, I understand how passionate you all are, but the Section 6 executive officers have important official duties and have to go back soon. Even if they didn't, they'd be resting in the club's VIP, I'm just gonna say, uh, VIP launch. Um, 
So there's no point in waiting here. You won't get any chance to meet them, so take your ass home! Y'all don't got jobs! This is what y'all be doing? Y'all just be staking out, waiting to freaking creep on people that got stuff to do because you fans of them? Damn! You ain't got a hobby? Oh, this is your hobby. Never mind. <laughs> I didn't expect to see all these people still milling around even after we finished our restocking trip. Anyone in particular you want to wait for? Rather than the person, I'm more interested in learning what's inside the... I'll just say V VIP lounge looks like. Uh. In the Luminous Square parking lot. It's not just the HIA car that's not here. There's no sign of any vehicles around. I'm certain this is the direction the staff member pointed us towards. Has something happened? Just then, the rest of section six arrive at the parking lots. I don't see any car, should we walk back instead? Yeah, let's do it. Let's take a walk and patrol at the same time. Chief, Sakaku, aren't you two a little too unfazed? The situation seems fishy anyway you look at it. Chief, what do you think? There aren't many possibilities that could have led to our current predicament. Let's rule them out one by one. Is that the staff what's going on? Maybe y'all are still in VR right now. Maybe that's what's going on. You said the yellow bar in the back made you think that they ended up in a warped reality first, but it was just from the VR pod. Oh, okay. You got a little confused for a second. What if, so what if we're actually, yeah, look, all the receptionists are gone. Yeah, no, we're, we're definitely still in the VR freaking world right now. See, we were made to think that we actually got out, but in reality, we're still there, bro. This is meant to really mentally cook us. Yanagi, don't you find the current situation strange? If even our chief realizes that things are weird, then it truly must be the weirdest of the weird. I suggest splitting up to investigate his teams. What do you think, chief? Let's do it. Asaba, you and, so uh, you and Sokaku blech, uh, take the stairs. Yanagi, come check the inside with me. Got it. Sokaku, come with me. Alright, let's uh, continue. A little investigating never hurts. Nagi, Haruma, uh, Harumasa and I just went upstairs and saw absolutely no one. Where's everyone gone? I'm telling you, it's just us. I checked and found no one. Just to be on the safe side, you can go and check again. I'll wait here. Hmm. I noticed this when we came in. Nobody's using them, but all these machines are still on. Everyone gathers together. As expected, it's kind of creepy. This place was bustling just before, but now all of a sudden, there's no one around. Is this place haunted? What, by you? Asaba, I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. She set me up, bro. It was like, that joke was too easy. That was a freaking layup, bro. There's no point in continuing our investigation here. Let's check outside. I agree with the chief's assessment of the situation. If things don't work out, we could just walk back. Ha, <laughs> I think we might have already come too far just for us to walk back yeah let's see what the hell going on bro uh hello this song now am i dreaming nagi how are there no people in lumina square at the Lumina Square I know, the hot pot joint is buzzing like crazy, even at 3 in the morning. Damn, people got the freaking munchies, huh? Sukaku, children should not be in bed by 3. Next time, you are not allowed to go out so late for snacks. Okay, Nagi. Why are you guys keeping uh, up your stand-up comedy routine in a situation this weird? Are you two really that close? Never mind. I'm not, though I'm not holding out any hope whatsoever. Let's investigate thoroughly. I'll go check the shops down there. How about you, Chief? Then I'll go back and double check the parking lot. Yanagi, you and Sokaku can investigate inside the mall. Oh my god, that. Alright, let's meet up after our respective investigations to share any discoveries. Let's get it. Dang. Damn. 
Damn. All right, what's up, my guy? <clears throat> Did you find anything unusual? Look, Deputy Chief, this uh, tactile path or my conscience, one of them has to be wrong. What do you mean? Huh? You're kidding, right, Deputy Chief? This tactile path goes right across the road. There's no way this traffic light roulette game is right. Oh, I see. Given how often you've been absent, your conscience has been wrong for a while. So I thought you were defending the tactile path. Are you serious, Chief? That's so mean! Who do you think? Oh my god, this song! Holy... Like, this is just a song to play in the back while we investigate, and it's going this hard. Alright, sorry. Alright. Who's been, uh, filling out your leave explanations? Or filing. Sorry. Or filling. Yeah, no, filling out, filling out. Um, and who's been handing your vacation requests? Well, handling your vacation requests. Uh, thanks, Deputy Chief. I'm sorry for the trouble. Glad you realize you're causing trouble. Actually, I didn't handle any of that stuff for you. Make sure to get it all done after the mission. Hmm? Seriously, Deputy Chief? That's so not cool. Oh, uh, boy. Yeah, you uh, you the slacker of all slackers, huh? For real, for real. Sakaku, what's up? Hmm, so weird. Sakaku, anything wrong with these trash cans? Nagi, I figured it out. The sandwiches at Luminous Skirt must taste aw awful. That's not quite the problem we're looking for, but go ahead. Why do you think so? Because a lot of people have thrown their sandwiches away. Look, there's a sandwich in the trash with just one bite taken. Mm. Here's another one with just one bite in this trash can. Same with this one too, and this one too. Damn, bro. Maybe they were doing a food review, and then they just threw the food out instead of giving it to somebody. They all took a bite from the same spot and tossed it the same way. It must taste really, really bad for everyone to throw it away like that. Hmm, could it really be that awful? I'm kind of curious about the taste now. No, you're not touching that. And don't go checking trash cans again. I'll make you a nice meal when we get home, okay? Okay, Nagi. Identical trash cans and even the things thrown in them are nearly the same. Would they really have so many trash cans? Yeah, that's a lot of trash cans to just have next to each other like that. Another one bites the sandwich, and another one bites the sandwich, and another one bites- Okay. I haven't listened to another one bites the dust in so long. Yeah, Nagi a troll. <laughs> yeah, she is pretty funny. Chief, you notice anything unusual? Yeah, what the hell is this thing? Yes, this one. It's way longer compared to the others. Unusually long. I'll trim it down to the same length. Just one cut will do. Don't destroy public property, Chief. This should be some masterpiece of artistic expression? Then... What is it trying to express? Hmm. The tallest trees catch the most wind. Oh? And how can you be so sure? Chief, didn't you just want to cut it short? I see, that makes sense. A very well done artistic expression. I learned something new. I'm not that familiar with Lumina Square. Was this artwork always like this? Yanagi never, had never really thought of Lumina Square as a particularly large place before, but with the crowds gone, all the sound, smells, and warmth uh, vanished, every trace of life and energy stripped away, what was left uh, felt oddly eerie. It's just like... It's just like being inside a hollow. Dun dun dun! There you go. Please stop reading my mind, Deputy Chief. This is really starting to scare me. You're scared of an empty square? No, I'm scared of how many times your mommy has seen right through my leave requests. Mm. My mommy? I've only got a sister. <laughs> What's your findings on the investigation? Oh, Lord, this team Chief, is so stupid. Have you got anything? <laughs> Nothing. She took no that so literally. My sword around. So Nobody's freaking literally. To take a group photo or a selfie. I couldn't find anyone either. Feels like I'd be hiding until my tummy started growling if I played hide and seek here. Uh huh. My tummy isn't growling. Why? I've been running around investigating all day. Why am I not hungry? Am I sick? 
So, Kaku, do you really need to bug the deputy chief with stuff like this? Want to hear my theory about what's going on? Go on. New Eridu has been hit by a deadly plague. Oh, you're a dumbass. You're a dumbass. Everyone must have been evacuated from Lumina Square while we you're were going to combat tests. As carriers of the virus, we've now been quarantined and cut off from everyone in this big empty square. Bro, bro is she... <laughs> she smacked him? The crisp, loud sound rang out like something straight out of an 8 p.m. New Eridu soap opera. Her hand raised, trembling slightly. His face turned aside a little red. Damn. Miss Tsukishiro, you hit me! Damn. Not even the chief has done that before! Uh, chief, put your hands down. <laughs> that wasn't an invitation yes. for you to hit me. This is uh, national everybody hit Asaba Day. Go for it. Just because I was talking about the plot from a movie I watched last night doesn't mean you had to hit me. My apologies. Did that hurt? Huh? And you're asking me if it hurt? Ah, uh, I get why I get why she did it. Just... Okay, okay. Wait. N no. Yeah, because you're in VR. That's weird. I didn't feel anything. Just as I thought. This empty square we're in. The lack of fans hounding our chief, mm -hmm. Sakaku's tummy, yep. Saba's lack of pain. Yep. Instead of assuming thousands of people could be teleported away, let's begin with the assumption that the problem here lies with us. Are you saying we're actually? Yes, we're still in the virtual environment. Yep. For some reason, we haven't been able to log out. I see. That explains a lot. Our brains? Are they in danger? Don't worry. Just in case, I can activate safety mode for everyone. I still remember the method outlined in the technical manual. I'm sorry for running my mouth earlier, Deputy Chief. Uh, from now on, I'll fully support you memorizing the manual. Yeah, uh-huh. the finest hair conditioner on the market. Yeah, now you okay, want to start glazing. The latest shampoo from Carly bro, Shane. bro, bro wants All to right, start. Team. Let's head back to the HIA recognizing to find another way that her memorizing that whole thing was actually good. You see, they make fun of you until they realize that you're actually smart. You know, that's how it goes. All right, let's get it. Safe mode activated. All right, you're up. Sukaku, come here. Okay, Nagi. All right. Sukaku, Asaba, what's wrong? Whoa, whoa! No, no, no! Not oh. Why isn't my body listening to me? Oh, she's right. My body. It's like it's being controlled by something else. That's a problem. What? Chief, are you okay? I'm not. Oh, shit. I had the urge to kill you about five minutes ago. You've been resisting the urge Miyabi. for five minutes? Leave it to me, Miyabi. Damn. So this truly isn't the real world. Someone's tampered Damn. with things. Damn. She had to, she had to put them all to sleep. Probably hit them with a chop to the neck. Six, heroes of New Eridu. I'm afraid no one in this world needs your salvation. Oh, Lord. That logo, it's... You're going to be trapped here until your brains shut down. No! Nah! Oh. oh. Listen, we don't need to be pulling no dong and rompas right now, you know what Can I mean? No dong. Uh -huh. My head still hurts a little. Looks like the pain feedback is not fully engaged. I'm sorry for being a bit rough earlier. I had to make sure to stop everyone. It's okay, Naki. My headache isn't because of you. More like from earlier. Seems like we're all in the same boat. A massive headache, then losing control and attacking teammates. Now we can be sure our failure to log out of the VR system was not an accident. He said, ah, so it's Monokuma. You know what, basically, yeah. While everyone yeah. was unconscious, the enemy sent a threat. 
Yanagi briefly tells her teammates about her confrontation with the unknown voice. That was brazen. Any idea who it could be? It's just speculation at this point, but the fact that the enemy was able to display information in front of us proves they've gained partial control over the VR system. So waiting for rescue isn't a good idea. But if we act recklessly, we might fall into the enemy's trap. But can they really set a trap without even showing up? This is a virtual world, and we're just data entities fully... I mean, anything is possible. Whoever controls the system is like a god here. And this is exactly why I'd want. be terrified hmm. with VR advancing to a specific level. Because it's like once it reaches a certain point, if somebody gets access to it and is able to hack through it and stuff, and then they're able to literally mess with your brain functions and stuff while you're in there and keep you in, in VR, that's some nasty work. And I ain't trying to be involved in that. He said, why am I hearing dung and rumpa trial music? The enemy delivered a threat at the risk of exposing their identity. Pull up. Or perhaps that's what they want us to believe. What do you mean? As long as we can't figure out what they're capable of, the enemy will seem like a god. They flex their power to scare us, leaving us wondering what they can do within the system. That's their plan. They want to restrict our movements and keep us in check. How did you come to this conclusion, Yanagi? Our enemy threatened to destroy our brains by eliminating our data entities. Their attempt to seize control of our bodies and attack our allies was one such effort. But, if they had truly seized full control of this system, they could have resorted to far more efficient methods. They could have simply destroyed our data, implanted a virus, ordered us to end ourselves, or even eradicated us along with this realm. But they didn't. So it's very possible they simply can't, because they don't have full control over this system. Okay, I get what you're saying. So, they have some power in here, but they don't have power to the point of where it's exactly like extremely fatal to us right now so we shouldn't have to panic to the max right now but we're still in like an annoying situation at the moment i get it i get it that's possible but maybe they're just not as devious as you and haven't considered doing it i'd say that's impossible because they're up against us section six <sighs> they can't beat us in the real world so they've gone to great lengths to trap us in the virtual world we have the most promising Void Hunter in New Eridu, so if I were the enemy, I'd want to take us out quickly. The more they bluff, the more it proves there's still something we can do. You're the most cautious person I know. I've never seen you take action based just on speculation. Well, I, I mean... I'm the most cautious person you've ever met, too. <laughs> what you've just heard right. are speculations from the most cautious of people. But I'm not taking risks because I'm reckless. Quite the contrary. The situation is dire, and we'll have to take the initiative to survive. I mean, yeah, she recognizes that. That's that's the whole thing. It's like when, when your back's against the wall, you gotta move. You know, you gotta do something. So, it's not being reckless. It's it's literally the only option you got. You, got, you gotta do what you gotta do. Hmm. It is, like she said, surviving. It's been a while since you spoke to Harumasa in such a serious tone, Yanagi. This reminds me of our first days in Section 6. And by the way, Speedy, I did see your comments. I don't want you to think that I have not been seeing your comments. I, I see them, okay? Everyone. <clears throat> Just a little... trust me? Low, uh, FYI. Well, you... I mean, I trust her. Yanagi hasn't given ideas. me a reason not to trust her. She's freaking insanely smart over here. And she's, you know, she's a little bit of a jackass, but, like, I find it funny, though. You know? Alright, uh... Like Harumasa said... This is all just speculation without any solid evidence. If we're wrong, things could get worse. And there's no turning back. Aw, Nagi's tail is drooping. Oh wait, Nagi doesn't have a tail. Hmm? But I have faith in you. As the chief, I'll take full responsibility for whatever happens. Just tell us what to do. Thank you, everyone. As for what we should do, I'm sure you all remember in the previous combat test, there were still three monsters left to defeat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They said they'd already gotten the data they wanted before we could take them down, right? Well, we gotta go take them down anyways. Exactly. 
And do you remember the briefing before the operation? About the rules I saw in the user manual? Once all test monsters are defeated, the test will automatically come to an end. Got it. So we need to go back to the test stage and finish off the last three enemies. This is the best approach given the situation, but I'm sure our enemy won't just leave them there like sitting ducks. They have partial control over the system and will stop at nothing to eliminate us. We're just ordinary officers, while our enemy has- Yeah, I'm sure they're gonna try to throw some weird roadblocks at us along the way. Are Wouldn't you doubt it. Naki? No. It's our enemy who should be worried. Are you hearing this, you shady coward? You're messing with the elites of New Eridu. You're messing with arguably like one of the smartest characters, if not the smartest character I've seen in this whole game. I mean, everybody on this team has their own strengths, obviously. But like, I'd be terrified to be like fighting against or even debating against Yanagi because this woman is like intelligent on another level. And she could throw hands. Um, she has her own job paid, plus babysitting for others unpaid. Well, at least wouldn't mind taking care of Sokaku. Just your fridge would? Yeah, your wallet would. Your fridge would- Sokaku enters the house, your fridge is, get, is immediately just gonna put like 50 locks on itself. And hope for the best. Cause that fridge is not safe. Like, I, I feel like the supermarkets would be scared of Sokaku. Those- f like, if they have free samples, they're gonna start having to make them paid samples. Cause she is going to shred through them things. Alright, the goal is to restart the test stage and eliminate the remaining test monsters. Everyone, are you ready? If you're all ready, then everybody say that key phrase together. Ooh, to protect the city. Okay, okay, alright, 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 alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't about to read that for all of them again. You already know what the, the phrase was. Okay. Com complete the commission to just make sure my agents don't take a bunch of damage. I can do that. Simple enough. Perfect coordination. I'm, I'm just right trying to make sure I remember after the third, fourth, or fifth hit, I can hit triangle and I'll do like a different attack. Use my little special oh. there. Still bouncing around. Oh hell no! The feel of the strike is fine. A swing, a swing, and a mink. Sakaku is crazy fun though. I use Sakaku like a lot. Test subject with data error. The mastermind has gained partial access to the VR systems and can tamper with the internal data of test enemies. When defeated, these alter enemies will explode, dealing- Okay. So, basically, I gotta be careful. Cause stupid ass, explosive freaking enemies. These are like the most annoying type of enemies in games. The ones that wanna freaking blow up. Like, stop it. Yeah, so Kaku- Oh shoot, okay. Oh. Yeah, Sakaku is my, um, constant Ellen support also. I don't have Lycon, unfortunately, because I'd put him there too. Everyone, watch out! These monsters are cheating! Perfect coordination! Surrender! Okay, Jesus. All right, Yanagi, I got you. We're at a disadvantage in a drawn-out battle. Let's go after the target first. Resistance is futile. Supporting. Perfect coordination. Oh god. You know what? Say cheese. Go for it. Bro, I still got hit? Okay, buddy. 
Okay, buddy. Move. Yeah. Let's join Apple. Uh, what you doing? Was that Zero from Borderlands? Where the hell he going, bro? I legit was trying to jump down there to chase him. You, need, you just need to build her more. She's level 50, but her skills, etc. are so uh, low at the moment. Yeah, I think I have a maxed up Sakaku. Sakaku would see a vegetable farm as an all-you-can-eat buffet. Yeah, Sakaku, uh, definitely an eater. Like, food enthusiast. Some people are just true foodies. I mean, I think I would consider myself one. Like, I want to try a lot of different types of food. And, like, make a lot of different types of food also, though. Oh, shit. Damn, Yanagi, okay? Come here, boys. I can also become an so Kaku special. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, I can't be taking too much damage. Hold me now. Oh. How about this? Yeah. This thing's still alive? Or how? Bro, I kid you not, playing as Yanagi, I can't see what's happening. <laughs> That electricity be going insane, bro. If I put Ching Yi and freaking Yanagi on the same team, good lord. My screen. Huh? Oh shit. They're T posing. Which one's the real one? Chief Miyavi, now! Oh. Damn. You know how to leave this virtual space. Talk. <laughs> You're never leaving. Breath. Hmm? We're back in the HIA room again. Whew, I'm exhausted. Nagi, you did it! That's the deputy chief for you. Well done. Hmm? So what is that? One down, two to go? You said the elevator is such a BS for the hard version where you have to get it done in four minutes. Oh shit. I'll have to try that shit out. You bet Sokaku would eat Sukuna's cursed fingers without any doubt. You just reminded me I need to continue Jujutsu Kaisen, Jesus. Um, yeah, she probably would. I see. So this is where we can learn the enemy's weakness? Yanagi, your judgment proves to be correct. I told you we should listen to Nagi. Haramasa, please don't argue with Nagi next time, okay? Hey, I was just raising a very reasonable counterpoint. Arguing is bad, okay? <sighs> okay, okay. Next time I'll definitely follow the deputy's orders. Happy now, Sakaku? Yep, Harumasa sama. Harumasa. Samasa. Okay. You know, some. Ha Man, that, that name is long as fuck. Alright, is the best. Thank you, everyone. For giving me your trust. Judging by our enemy's reaction, our plan seems to be effective. If everyone's still feeling up to it, then I suggest we strike when the iron's hot and seize our chance to catch the next runway. Let's do that. The longer we wait, the higher the chance something goes wrong. So then, please get ready and let's enter the test environment once more. Alright. Let's get it again. After a quick uh, bit of preparation, the squad is ready to recite the key phrase and enter the next test. Do you remember the key phrase to start the test? Duh. Yeah, it was that cool one. To feast on the city's delight. All right, oh, Paimon. Like <laughs> no, Sokaku. I don't think that was the phrase. It was more like, to shine the light of justice, eliminate all evil. Yeah, something like that. There you go. That's just the version you wanted, Chief. Mm. The correct phrase was, <clears throat> To protect the city, I shall become the light. It's rare for Asaba to remember such details, especially oh. at work. Good job, Asaba. You actually paying attention. 
Wait, so you guys conveniently forgot because you were embarrassed to recite it? Bruh. Fine, fine, I'll do it. But don't stare at me. It'll make it even more embarrassing. Bruh. <clears throat> to protect the city, I, Asaba Haramasa, shall become the light. Bro was like gritting his teeth saying that shit. As soon as he finished speaking, a bizarre data loading noise fills the air. With a mix of reluctance and embarrassment, Haramasa stands awkwardly half committing to the pose. An unnatural glow slowly envelops his body as the sharp details of his virtual avatar begin to dissolve into pixelated blocks blending into a, blight, a bright white halo. Moments later... Oh. Uh, huh. Why isn't the stage activated? Did I mess up the words enough? Oh, words enough? You've never looked better, my guy! <sighs> Dang! Um, look, bro, you look clean as hell. What? And what's up, Zoya? Welcome. Yeah, you, you came in at the perfect time. Rose said Ubisoft crossover. Mm. <gasps> look at the little guy. Why are you all staring at me, Enna? Enna. And why are you all so tall, Enna? Wait. Why am I talking like this, Enna? Mm? Uh, Asaba? Is that you? Anna. What's going on? Is this some kind of prank, Anna? Of course I'm me. Maybe mentally. <laughs> Armasa turns to face the wall and the glossy reflection of the door. He sees an adorably round figure staring back at him. What? Anna. That was like kind of like a Monokuma. What? Little wobble wobble you know? I'm not gonna lie. That was pretty good. That was a pretty good what? Harumasa turned into a bang boo. Hey, never look better. Hold on. No. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, and, uh, why? Where's my body? Is this for real? Did I actually turn into a bang boo? And, uh... For real. Yep. <laughs> The Ennas are throwing me off. The Ennas are, like, the best part. I mean, sure, my old body wasn't perfect, but, but this... These stubby arms and this clumsy body... I'm totally useless then now! <laughs> Aw, cheer up, Harumasa! You're not useless! Listen, bang boos are useful in combat, bro. It's all good. Now's really not the time for that Enna... <laughs> this dude over here trolling. <laughs> Shut the fuck. It's that person. Goofy ass. The know-it-all intel officer dragging everyone down with her. Okay, Just buddy. Just as planned. My strategy worked. The enemy made a mistake. <laughs> Keep deluding yourself. Thanks to your foolishness. Those battles gave me all the data I needed to take over this system, and soon to take over you. What do you you know you know everything about our combat now and everything, bro? Trying to act like he's freaking Taskmaster. I just need to see your moves once, and I know exactly how to uh, combat them. Yes, I could even mimic it. Like what? Like, like what? Are you, what are you gonna do with that freaking information? Your teammate's data model is complete. I've made some small optimizations to it. Soon huh? he'll be on a fast track. To brain death. Listen, why you go after him first? We know he's stupid, but you didn't have to do him like that. Okay, listen, if you were really ballsy, you would try to go for one of the smarter ones first. You went for the weakest link. Shame on you. No offense to him. Like, I know Sakaku's literally a child, right? But, like, I think Sakaku has, like, a better a better chance mentally than, than Asaba does. Anyways. What? What do you want from us? <laughs> Didn't I tell you? I want revenge on the Invincible Section 6. Oh, here we go. That archer was the first. Next, I want you oh, whoops, to watch whoops, whoops. as your teammates... My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. I, I missed a piece of dialogue. That archer was first. That archer was the first. Next is the kid, and then the pride of the Hoshimi family. And you, the know-it-all intelligence officer, I'll make sure you're the last one. Mm. 
I want you to watch as your teammates, under your leadership, walk step by step towards the... Chip, walk step by step towards the... Uh-huh. Bang! An ear-splitting blast echoes out as Sokaku raises Haramasa Boo and violently slams him into the CV, erupting the venomous whisper. Bruh. Sakaku? Sakaku's pissed. Oh shit. You actually managed to get Sakaku mad? Don't listen to that ugly loser, Nagi. Uh-oh. I I don't really understand what I was talking about. But I do know one thing. It was showing its face now because it's panicking. Hey! Is that why you smashed me through the TV screen, Sokaku? Oh, the screen is back to normal enough. Mm. I told you, I'm slowly seizing control of this system. Soon, I will be the god of this world. If wow. I want it restored, it will be restored. And if I want you dead, you will die. I get it now. <laughs> too bad. It's already too late. That means you're admitting it yourself. You haven't taken over this system, and you don't have the power to change the rules. True it's and really real. It's to see the rules in the technical manual still apply. If we kill all the test monsters, it will trigger the end of the test. We're heading in the right direction. You've provided me with very useful information. See, we both got information <laughs> at the end so of the day. Clever. If that's your conclusion, then you're even dumber than I thought. What are you bluffing? Let's see if you're still smiling the next time we meet. All right. So what? This is gonna keep going until there's only Yanagi left. All right. If you're ready, let's begin the test. All right. Let's get it. All right. Let's enter the test stage. Wait, Miyabi. I have something I'd like to say to everyone. I guess, um, what you're going... I can guess what you're gonna say. This time, our enemy is highly adept at sowing discord. And that. Nagi cares about us so much, but they threatened her about getting... Okay, about us getting brain death. Nagi's really clever, but she'll uh, still be heartbroken after hearing that. How evil. Nagi, we can't let these bad guys go. The more it doesn't want to fight... Uh, okay, the more it doesn't want us to fight, the more we have to fight. But perhaps that's precisely what the enemy wants us to think. It's like a game of chess. Our enemy may be planning several moves in advance. Indeed, we don't have enough intel right now, so we can't rule out any possibility. So now, are you still confident in your judgment? I... Can I confess something to all of you? I have never had confidence in my judgment. Really? Wow. As a number one on the brain death leaderboard, it's really heartwarming to hear you say something like that. But Deputy Chief, it looks like you got more to say than just that. Ah, nah. Of course. I am the intelligence officer for Section 6, and rather than relying on uh, flights of fancy, I prefer to base my judgments on rational analysis of objective facts. But I'm worried about everyone. I fear that the majestic force that is Section 6 might get caught up in a mistake I make. What the enemy said. The fear turns my stomach. Wow. Yeah. So, this uh, situation really does have Yanagi in a very vulnerable spate, uh, state because she's not able to do the typical thing that she does that uses facts and logic. And right now, she's having to just do her best with what we have, which is not much at the moment. And just essentially full send it. So, it's a very di different tactic than what she's used to. And since she cares about everybody so much, she's obviously stressed as hell. Because she don't want this freaking brain death to happen. Hmm. But words alone cannot attack my confidence. One cannot destroy what has never existed. See? You think you could destroy my confidence? I never had it in the first place. I was just using facts before that, so I didn't need to have confidence because I already knew that it was a fact. Confidence is something that you need when you're in a situation where something's not guaranteed. Mmm. Damn, I feel like I kind of cook with that. Okay, Keith, Jesus. All right, um, all I know is that the objective intelligence has not changed, or rather the latest intelligence only bolsters my previous hypothesis further. And so, I ask you all to please keep trusting me. However, I have a small suggestion regarding our situation. What is it? Miyabi, Sakaku, try as hard as you can to try not to get involved in combat and leave all the fighting to me. Haramasabu can't fight right now either, which means Nagi will be alone? Isn't that dangerous? 
I have enabled safe mode, and the enemy cannot hack into the system to collect or meddle with any of my data. It's safer for me to fight. I may not like it, but I understand. Thank you. So then, let's become light and hunt down the second runaway. Alright, let's get it. You said... Asabu. Mm. Bruh. And if there's even an enemy... There's even an enemy and that's just part of the current VR program. What the hell? Where the hell you think you going? Don't run, Enna! Don't run, Enna! Darn it! The path's blocked. Should we go around, Enna? Blocked Bruh. again! Stay calm, it's a dead end. Around. Ah, okay. The wall on the left doesn't seem very sturdy. Looks like we can break through it. Listen, when there's no path, you make one. Awesome, Anna. You break I through like the freaking Kool-Aid man and pop off. At this point, the only option is to catch up and take it down as fast as possible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Watch your stick. Oh, hell no. What you doing? You trying to throw like a freaking spirit bomb at me? Come on, no. We cooking. Alright, let's, let's just go for the smaller one first. Come here. Mind and body. Come here. Not bad. Oh, shit. Bro, this thing trying to corner trap me. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Bro, that, that thing tried, like, doing some Tekken BS to me. The classic, I'm gonna put you against the wall and start just hammering away. Alright, um, you said Enna, Enna, yo, the next Yakuza karaoke hit, bro. Deputy Chief, there's another wall here that can be broken. Enna. Great. Let's take the shortcut as well. Where's Kiryu you at when you need him? Alright. <laughs> it's so stupid like it's such a stupid thing but just adding that little that little freaking sound and uh it does so much ow damn surrender bro oh, okay yeah they, these enemies still blow up huh Look at them stupid enemies bro Okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh crap. Waste of time. Okay, okay, all right, enough. Surrender. Now you're Just pissing me off. Don't go and answer. Oh, bro. <laughs> I keep forgetting about the explosion after, bro. Mm -hmm. 
Bro, what you? Miyabi. Bro, you got a target on your cheek, bro. They put a bullseye with a freaking arrow on the back of your cheeks. That's crazy. Nagi said we can't let the chief's data get stolen so quickly. Leave this to me. Uh oh. So Kaku is giving it her all, but even so, it won't be enough to hold out for long, Hannah. Uh, hey, Sukishiro. You're about to get yeeted, oh, huh? No, 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 Oh my god. That's a crazy shot. Said bro got back shot at bro. Yanagi. Yanagi. Jesus. Forget about me. Get out of there. Oh. Uh, that's not good. Oh. Uh, assistance is useless here. Really? Useless? Hurting people like this. The special monster we're looking for must be you. Uh, dumbass. Bring that ass down there. Damn oh damn, she's just going straight in. Stage complete. Hey. Hey, she understood the assignment there though. He's like, ain't shit gonna happen to me. I take you out, we done. I knew trusting you was the right thing to do, Nagi. Another one bites the, the dust. Monster is done. We're almost there. You know, I actually like that this time uh another one of them didn't get turned into a bang boo. Cause typically I've seen stuff that's similar to this. Of where it's like, how do I explain it? You have the group and then one by one they start getting picked off, right? Until it's the one character left that the episode's based upon, right? But instead, they said, we're gonna let it happen to one of the characters, we're gonna have the characters learn from that mistake immediately and have a different tactic rather than continuing and letting the same thing happen again. So hopefully what I said made sense. It's like, a, like my, my brain is processing it as it's a different take on a certain type of trope, I guess, that they use in, in media, whether it's in like a TV show or a video game. So, yeah, that's basically what I'm trying to say. They went different about it. I don't like just sitting here watching while my teammates fight without being able to help. But I'm glad you're okay. Like, I think it's like a, a pretty, like, realistic, like, smart approach with it. Deputy Chief, now's a good time to act badass, right? Mm -hmm. Don't drop a cool line like, I'm just an office worker. There's something to rub it in, <laughs> Anna. Oh my god. You wanted that one-liner. I am an office worker, and you've done a great job as a bang boo, Harumasa. Yeah, look at you. Maybe you should stay as a bang boo, bro. Mm. Huh? Oh. Why has everyone gone quiet? Uh-oh. You! Curse you! A mere intelligence That's a cool-ass shot, too, though. Plans. You again? <laughs> Seeing us destroy two of the test monsters meant you finally had to act. With one more to go, your plan is about to fail. So what you gonna do hey, about like it? As always, intelligence officer, are you sure your teammates can hold out that long? Oh lord, wait. I have faith in them. You know nothing of their strength. <laughs> you don't need your teammates to teach you how to act cool. You're pretty good at throwing out those cheesy comic book cool lines yourself. All right, buddy. I'm just stating the facts. You've tried manipulating the data, the terrain, the system, and you still can't beat us. I think knowing when to give up is a form of wisdom. Yeah, knowing yeah, when to wave the white flag. I agree with you on this one. Sometimes it is wise to give up. Oh? It's been a while since I met such a reasonable villain. I might try and get you some special treatment as a prisoner. Maybe a pork cutlet that Tsukaku hasn't already nibbled at? Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, giving up on you. If it weren't for your interference, I'd have already dealt with those three. So I've decided to stop wasting time on you and focus on what's important. Hold on. What are you planning? Uh-oh. Get out of my world. Stay out of my way. Wait. He done hit you with the Uno reverse. Oh, boy. 
You know, thing things were going Wait. so well. Ah, Miss Sukishiro, you, you, I. Oh, I? that's why he said this? that, my dumbass. He really threw you out of there because he knew you were the biggest threat. So that way, your team could actually start crumbling without you. That's actually pretty smart. He's like, you know what? I know I'm not going to be able to beat you, but I could beat them. Ah, Mitsuki Shiro, uh, you're awake. Thank goodness you're back. You're back in the real world. Yeah, that is pretty smart. I mean, that's, that's not good for the rest of Section 6, but, uh... Huh. I'm... I'm at... Oh, Deputy Chief uh, Sukishiro, thank the gods at least you managed to wake up. Oh, is this where maybe I'm going to have to get help from, like, the fate, uh, from Phaethon or something? I see the others haven't made it back yet. What I'm going to tell you now is very important. Please listen to me very carefully. Okay. My team's consciousness are trapped inside that virtual environment and they are under threat right now. Please call hand immediately and request a cybersecurity specialist plus a medical team. Before they get here, please block off the entrance and exit of the HIA club and stop anyone from coming in or out. Got it. Don't worry. Leave it all up to me. Yeah, shit got real. You said jinx. Eh. Yeah, shit got a little, little bad. Dear citizens, friends of HIA, loyal users of the VR system, and premium users, bruh, and yes, premium users, thank you all for your support and enthusiasm. Our apologies, but we may need to extend our VR system maintenance today. The Career Club will reopen once maintenance is complete. We sincerely apologize for the inconvenience. Despite this disappointing announcement, the crowd gathered at the entrance doesn't have much of a reaction. Uh, it's great that everyone's staying so calm. By the way, the executive officers of Hollow Special Operations Section 6 will be resting in HIA during the maintenance period, so... What? Miyabi-sama isn't coming? What the heck? I came all this way just to see the executive officers of Section 6. Well, that's what happens when you come all the way over here to start freaking glazing, bro. You should have mentioned something that important earlier. What do you mean, by the way? It's your system maintenance at the real side note here. Hearing that the members of Section 6 wouldn't be appearing, the crowd of citizens reacts with surprising intensity. We're so sorry. Deepest is apologies. Uh, in any case, please leave for now. We'll announce the opening time later. Thanks for your support. Bro, surprise they didn't start getting some freaking pitchforks. Yep, and this is where Faithing comes in. What on earth is going on? Something happened? It's okay, don't worry too much, Bell. I just feel like something's gone haywire over there. What about Section 6? Yeah, section six, section 6 basically vanished after going into the HIA club. Even uh, their scheduled press conference has been cancelled. There's a huge ruckus on the internet with people speculating about what's happened to Section 6. Listen, let's uh, keep an eye on that. So you're concerned too, Bell. Well then, Fairy, please filter the internet using these keywords and keep me up to date with all the latest. Keywords, Section 6, HIA club, and Hoshimi Miyabi. Also, Nullface? You mean that gang of proxies who claim to be the equals of Faith then? It's understandable you'd be curious. Mm hmm. And now we back over here. Alright, complete the current ongoing episode. Let's get it. Is there any rewards I could grab real quick or something? No. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. All right, let's uh, continue. This dude wise. Look at this dude. Wise. Uh, wise. Bell, check this out real quick. There's some new info about Section Six. Are you free to chat? Yeah. Yes. Let's uh, focus on the story here. After the news on Section Six concluded, let's compile all the info from the internet selected uh, by Fairy, along with those stray morsels from the news. 
You said, while we're at it, can we get a Yellowstone Park crossover? Want a Yogi Boo? Bruh, I forgot Yogi Bear was a thing. You, like, kids these days definitely don't know nothing about no Yogi Bear, bro. Yogi! Hey, boo boo! Like that? Damn. We might, we might be unk off of, off some Yogi Bear stuff. I ain't gonna lie to you. Freaking Yogi. Alright, um. Let's see here. Feels like something's going down. You don't say. That's what everyone's guessing, but nobody knows what actually happened. Should we go check it out? Should we go join the party? Yeah. Go have some fun. I knew you'd be keen to join in all the fun, Belle. Let's go. The car is ready. All right. A little earlier today at the HIA Club. All right. Login failed. Missing authentication information. Login failed. Login failed. Okay, well, this is just freaking great. Non-stop login failed. Damn it, I haven't been able to log back in ever since the system kicked me out. I tried everything, but even the login link disappeared in the end. Yeah, we're, uh... We're kinda cooked right now, I ain't gonna lie to you. This ain't looking too hot. Alright, um, it's already been so long. Sakaku, Miyabi, and Haramasa, uh, okay, yeah, Haramasa, I mean Asaba, they're all suffering inside, and there's nothing I can do about it. Yeah, this is, uh, not good, not good for us, this is very bad, very bad. What was I gonna say? Um, you said, or, or a Genshin crossover, a new era, new graveyard with Boo Tao, bro. Genshin don't even be doing no damn collabs, bruh. Like, Star Rail is getting a real freaking collab. And what the hell, Genshin? Genshin don't be doing no collab. Like, well, they do collabs, but not, like, in the actual game itself. Like, we're getting a real freaking in-game collab with Star Rail. With freaking, uh, Fate. And that shit's gonna be crazy. But, you know. Here we are. Anyways. Deputy Chief, uh, Tsukishiro. Yeah, McDonald's. Yeah, there's your collab. You, you, you don't get no freaking like actual collab with like other video games though that, that that's what i meant more specifically or like anime like you you know what I, you, you know what i mean from like a gameplay standpoint really all right um oh uh, um i'm sorry about that i was daydreaming have our has our backup arrived yet the professionals from hand have arrived they're working on relinking the connection so you could re-enter the virtual world. When I tried logging in using the original link, the system prompt said missing authentication information. But ever since I've been here, I've stuck with my team, whether in the virtual world or the real one. I can't figure out how there could be an authentication information that Miyabi, Harumasa, and Sokaku all have, but that I don't. Even if they could create a new connection, I'm worried that I won't be able to log in at all if we can't solve this first. Do our experts have any insight on this? We're working hard. Mm, I see. Thanks for your hard work. We'll never give up. Never. Whoa! What the hell is... What was that? <laughs> Please don't cry. That's what that was. Oh! Alright. Sorry. Sorry. You only came by to help us and yet we put you all in danger. Yeah, I know Fischl appeared in Honkai and Genshin collab yeah, back in the day. I do know about that because I have Fischl. Uh, seriously, please, can you stop crying? I'm really not very good at handling my workmates' tears. Hell, they got a freaking Honkai Impact 3rd and Star Rail collab with freaking Sparkle, bruh. Has that update dropped, by the way? Because I, I need to play that when it drops. Like, I'm actually going to go back to, to Honkai Impact 3rd for the first time in Lord knows how long. And, and check that out. I would like to. That'd be actually really fun. Alright. Sorry. I, I'm just I'm just so sad. Deputy Chief Tsukishiro. Did you hear? I just went out to con uh, console all the Section 6 fans outside. And they were all clutching onto the gifts that they wanted to give their idols. Huh. I told them all to go and that I'd pass them on for them. Uh, in about two to three weeks. Okay, I know there's a trailer that I missed that I didn't watch for that too. Uh, excuse me, I'm gonna watch that. But you know what they said? They wanted to personally hand over the gifts to their idols, the guardians, a new Eridu. 
We kept everything secret though, we didn't let anything out of the bag, probably for the best. They've got no idea that their heroes are now on the brink of death because of our negligence. That's something I... I... I really... Oh, your whole expression just shifted then, Deputy Chief Tsukishiro. Uh, are you going to take your anger out on me? It's okay, you can hit me. I deserve it. Please rest assured, I shall not be hitting you. What you just said has reminded me of something. Please hold a minute. I want to run a quick physical diagnostic on my teammates. Uh, of course, sure. They're all under expert medical supervision right now. If you could provide some details about their health, it should be useful in stabilizing the situation. I understand, thank you. Hey yo. Deputy Chief Tsukishiro, thank you for your hard work. Um, I'm currently in charge of taking care of your three teammates and I've got a few questions I'd like to ask. Thank you in advance, as long as it helps with the care, I'll gladly uh, tell you whatever I know. We retrieved the basic health records of the three from the database, but something went wrong during the data transfer and we lost info on each one of the file owners. I'd like to ask for your help in identifying which one of the three records belongs to each executive officer based on the descriptions. I'll do my best. The first one is, let me see, wow, impressive, looks like it's a petite oni girl with exceptional physical abilities. I wonder who that is. Do you really need me for this? Please, my team can't bear the consequences of a mistake. I think it describes Sakaku, duh. The second, it belongs to a male officer, bruh. His bust, waist, and hip measurements are, bruh. And the last record, it looks like it belongs to a dignified, powerful fox theorin who wields a sword and has the earned the title of Void Hunter. Her height is 170 centimeters. That must be with the ears included, right? Bruh. Miyabi. Understood. Thank you. Bruh, did you really need my help for that? Rest assured, we will do everything in our power to care for the three of them. Section 6 is the protector of this city, a symbol of security for everyone. So, Deputy Chief Tsukishiro, no matter what, please bring the three of them back. Please. I will. You're the only one who can. Can I really do it? Oh, there's the doubt. What's with the screen? I think it was going through a hologram in the back at the same time or some shit, something like that. Yanagi walks up to them quietly watching. Uh, like the caretaker mentioned, the new Eridu guardian badge gleams brightly on the chest of the three. Their breathing is steady, and their hands are warm. Bro said, nice back shot. <laughs> Bruh. Anyone looking at them would never think they are on the brink of death. I can't imagine the city without you, so I have to bring you back. Just then, a message arrives. The cyber warfare experts have successfully restored the connection gateway. Miss Tsukishiro, the login link has been re-established, but part of the system is still under the enemy's control. The message authentication information missing keeps popping up, so we can't log in. I have an idea that might be worth a try. What's that in your hand? Oh, a new Eridu Guardian badge? That's a really unique design. Is it official hand merchandise? That's not important. Please take this badge to the specialist team for analysis. The staff takes away the badge for analysis before bringing in uh, back soon after. This is incredible. Wait, do you intend to log into the system wearing this? It's the missing authentication information, isn't it? Mm. Yes, but it's too risky. Once you log in, you won't be able to activate safe mode. Even the pain feedback protection will be disabled, and it could- Hey, let her cook. There's something I'd like to confirm. Let her cook. What is it? Are the core system rules still in effect? I'm talking about the content in this user guide. This system creates an immersive virtual realm synced with the user's senses. Once all test monsters are defeated, the session will automatically come to an end. According to the specialists, these rules are intact, correct? Uh, of course. These are the core rules governing the VR system. Our battle with the enemy has always been about gaining control of the system. And they have neither the ability nor the opportunity to alter them. Great. Then I'm going into the system. Oh, My shit. are still out there. Please assist me. I'm counting on you. <clears throat> <laughs> that was so... Moving. Oh my god. I'm gonna create a dedicated fan club just for you. And one day, I'll make sure everyone in New Eridu is a diehard fan of Miss Tsukishiro. 
Uh, you're thinking out loud again. Bruh. No, no, that's just what I'm saying out loud. My inner thoughts are way more embarrassing. If I were to say them out loud, you'd never look at me the same again. Oh. So I'll stop. Yeah, I just, mind, just... I'll give it my all to support you. I swear, as the founder of the Tsukishiro Yanagi fan club. All right. I the founders of Eridu, to Lady Sunbringer, and the leftover noodles from lunch. I Bruh. pray for the safety of you and everyone in Section 6. You said at least you can't say he Thank isn't determined? you. <laughs> make sure they all get <laughs> He's determined. Bro, listen to the way that she said thank you, bro. She said, oh shit, I didn't, I hit auto again. She said, thank you you she hit like that looks like the hia club um but nobody's here i guessed right that was a valid login method let's go there's voices outside i better head out and take a look i'm on the way go outside he prays to his noodles hey who doesn't this is like something out of a nightmare so this is what nightmares are like that's a badass shot wait chief You've never had one? That's an even more badass shot. Never, okay. Never. Miyabi's combat data collection progress is at 97%. Oh, shit. Miyabi, there's no time! Please listen to me! There's no need. Have you already uncovered the enemy's secret? Can I save this shot right here? This shit. Damn, that thing's sick. Yes, Chief. Miyabi's combat data collection progress is at 98%. You've got a plan to take them down. Bro said wet shirt time. I wasn't even thinking about that. Miyabi's combat data collection progress is at 99%. 99? Then I'll leave it to you. No! Well... Bruh. Combat data collection progress has reached 100%. Data collection complete. Model construction in progress. Well. Oh no! <gasps> Look oh my god! Sakaku! Oh my god. Become light. Oh shit. Well. It looks like we do get that 1v1 in the end. Everybody did get picked off, huh? Well, let's run it. Sorry, everyone. I got here too late. Leave the rest to me. Listen, she ain't the leader for nothing. She got this shit. Trust. It doesn't matter how many cheating monsters show up. Impressive, Deputy Chief. You're not gonna put into a bang here too, Linda. Oh shit. I gotta be careful with those explosives. Loki forgot. Surrender. Come on. Now she's shredding. What's about to pull up? What the hell? Stuff just popping out of thin air, like going away. If only I had a Hi. I'd like to join the fight too, Anna. Don't worry, Chief. Leave it to me. Waste of time. There we go. Ow. Bro, who shoot? Oh, hiya. <laughs> Just missiles. Oh, shit. Come here. Come on. Let's get you stunned. Okay, not quite. Oh, I mean, I ain't. No, not quite yet. Oh, 
Weak spot located. Careful, the enemy's recovered. The music, bro. We got it. That was nasty. Nope. Bro really did try to act like Taskmaster, right stealing their moves Abby? and then right using hand. it against them. I sprained it earlier, stopping the blade. It was back then. Oh. It'll lead to subtle changes in my movements. You've always looked after me, after all of us. You're the only one in this world who can capture it. She purposely let her hand get sprained to fight back against. Thank you, Chief. Not the glasses, bruh. You wouldn't hit a girl with glasses, would you? <laughs> Bro, that slice ripped through. Check me. Yeah, you cooked. That was actually too clean. And uh, time for the wholesomeness. Maggie, you, <laughs> <sighs> I can finally clock out. <laughs> you know, I can't blame you for wanting to clock out at this point. Everyone's been light for so long. It's time to go back to being human. <laughs> and shout out to Miyabi over there. She's a real one for what she did to help. Bro said, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. It's all because of that blasted intelligence officer. Even if I can't destroy your consciousness, I'll make you pay. Hoshimi Miyabi, deep sensory sync and biological data, all uploaded. They they will finish what I started. Null face will not end here. Yep, null face. Yeah, okay. And if it wasn't for that meddling section six, my plans would have worked. Nagi, are you awake? Can you see me? Your hands are sweaty, Sakaku. Oh yeah, I forgot that that was in VR, so her actual glasses didn't get broken, see? All is well in the world. Yeah, but they, like, they make it, they actually make me feel so bad. I see. I'll steer clear of that power in the virtual. Listen, we're gonna get you all the snacks you want, okay? Needed. Whatever you want. I told you the deputy chief would be all right. How do you feel? Sore all over? Maybe now you can relate to how I feel when I want to take a day off. Which is every day. I'm glad you're safe and sound too, Asaba. However, I think you're cuter in your bamboo form. <laughs> deputy chief. First you slap me physically and now you hit me with words? That's just cruel. Hey, best of both worlds. Thanks to you, we're back in the real world, Yanagi. Your strategy worked, as always. Once you're back on your feet, will you help me draft my will? It's <laughs> really not the time for this. <laughs> draft your will. What's with the will all of a sudden? Bro, what in the hell? Families like the Hoshimi family. Such things must be sorted early. I'm totally overjoyed to witness this reunion. Family, I'm huh? Afraid I have to interrupt. Just to be on the safe side, we need to give everyone a quick medical checkup. A 
accompanied by HIA medical staff. The group underwent a basic health check, followed by a more thorough examination in Hands Specialized Medical Facility. Thankfully, everyone was fine. Two days later, in a Section 6 office of the Hand Building. So, the virus was implanted in us by the enemy through that badge? Virus isn't exactly accurate. It's a set of identification codes that aren't inherently dangerous and don't actively emit signals. Their sole purpose is to be detected during a full body scan when the wearer logs into the VR training machine. But when red, it becomes a virus. It mm. opens up a back door allowing the attacker to hack mm. into the system. Or at least, that's what the tech staff reported. But, Deputy Chief, how did you know the badge contained this virus? Looking back, the only distinction between my actions and everyone else was I didn't interact with any fans before the mission started. Oh. To ensure all the citizens who trust handful at ease, the higher-ups have consistently encouraged officers to treat the fans as kindly as possible. It's only natural everyone wears the gifts sent by the fans. So that pretty badge was actually something harmful. Damn. Oh no, I can't remember who gave it to me. If I could, we could trace it back to them. Right? Don't worry, I've already asked reliable colleagues to follow up. Could it be an insider within the HIA? I did have my doubts, but then I thought if an insider wanted to tamper with it, there are plenty of ways more subtle than implanting an identifier code. The most suspicious person, naturally, is the one who has the strongest reason to target Section 6 right now. Oh, Section 5? Now isn't the time for internal jokes. Chief, you understand what I'm trying to say, right? No face. Yep. We're just one step away from taking down their leader. If they were going to make a desperate move, now would be the time. Nullface once hacked into the HIA system and potentially gained access to internal intelligence. Furthermore, conducting electronic warfare through hacker groups has always been Nullface's specialty. Hacker groups. So in other words, the remnants of Nullface, who normally operate independently, are now joining forces? This is their last stand. To efficiently organize their attack against us, they likely aren't too spread out, making it the perfect opportunity to capture them all in one sweep. Huh, they can't beat us in the real hollows, so they cheat in the game world? These guys are the worst! So, when are we gonna go after them? Rather conveniently, the intelligence from our partner department has just arrived. How about we take them down today? Oh, that works perfectly, huh? That night. Hand resumed that previously canceled press conference. The entire Hollow Special Operations Section 6 squad attended, announcing the criminal syndicate Null Face had been apprehended. Bro, did you catch that news bulletin? Uh, what is it? Section 6 uh, called a press conference claiming that they've taken down Null Face in one fell swoop. That was fast. Yes, the previous rumor is that. Section 6 got into trouble at the HIA club while Han did nothing about it, which sent the rumor mill into overdrive. Now online speculation claims that Section 6 was infiltrating the Null Face base the whole time to launch a sneak attack, and Han's lack of response was due to fear of leaks. Seems reasonable. Everyone's just making blind guesses. I mean, it's not like anyone actually witnessed it in person. <laughs> they say the sleeping mind, uh, mind dreams about the worries of the day. Maybe I'll have one of those dreams tonight. I'm thinking, Bell, Wise, and the Section 6 Big Bad Hollow Adventure? Did we play the bad guys in the dream? If Bell's a bad guy, then I'd like to be a bad guy too. After all, it's both of us that make up faith, and it's rare for you to agree with me like this. So how about it? You want to experience that dream right now? You want to go to the HIA? You got it. The announcement says that the HIA's latest VR system updated today, and the sensory simulation experience had advanced again. Aren't you curious, Bell? Welcome, citizens, to the V uh, to experience the latest VR system. Ah, you're Miss Tsukishiro Yanagi. You're the leader of the independent investigation team. I didn't expect to see you here. I was just one, two, three, Miss Tsukishiro. A paragon of wisdom and bravery for you. We'll go crazy. Who are those people? 
We're miss. <laughs> we're, the, we're we're part of our fan club. I'm the chief administrator. Would you be interested in joining us and becoming one of our loyal supporters? Everyone, what happened to our number one rule? Right, never cause trouble for the guests. What you're doing right now is causing trouble, you know. Right, we'll obey your instructions. We'll disappear right away. Wow. My apologies. No matter how much I tried to stop them, they insisted on forming a fan club, so I had to set some rules for management. I'm the invited spokesperson responsible for the safety demonstration of this new VR system. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Yeah, that was funny. Um... Time slips without any notice, and you end up spending an entire day at the HIA club. By the time you return home, it's already late into the night. You fall asleep without even realizing it, probably because you're exhausted. Oh. Did my game freeze? Okay. That pause was so long, I thought my game freezed, bruh. I was like, what the hell? Life is return to normal, rebuild the internet account. Wait. Huh? Wait a minute. Huh? Wait, was that? Was that it? Wait a minute, I'm confused. Was that? Was that the quest? That freeze seems to happen to everybody? Huh? Oh, that was that was that was the end of the quest. Oh, okay. <laughs> that that pause threw me off. Okay, wait. So that 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 really was it. Oh, uh, okay. Damn. That happened. Okay. Um. The final boss got taken down off screen. They captured the hacker. Damn. I thought they would have. Oh. Huh. I thought they. I thought that would have been on screen. That that's why I got confused because I thought, I, oh, so they really did do. Oh, oh, oh. Um. <laughs> um. For real? That was that. What? That was for real, eh? I'm trying to take a walk together. Okay. All right. I guess I'll give my opinion on the quest. I like the quest a lot. I like section six. They're actually freaking hilarious. You know, you you got freaking Miyabi saying all this weird shit. <laughs> You're talking about a will. All this all this stuff going on. You got freaking. Oh my god, my neck. Uh, if I remember, you get a we get a second. Uh, you get in second half a lighter episode too. Oh shit! I'll have to check that out. Um, let's see. Marasa or whatever. Uh, bro, was freaking always wants to clock out early. Sakaku so and freaking little gremlin energy over there, hungry as hell, wanting snacks. And then Yanagi, Yanagi is crazy smart. Like, it actually impressed me. I accidentally pressed on this, whoops. It, it, like, it impressed me how smart Yanagi is. And cracked out strong she is too. Definitely like the smartest character I've seen in this whole freaking game. And I think it was cool to see a very vulnerable side of that character also, of her genuinely being like scared and fearful for her other teammates because she didn't want anything to happen to them. And she was in a situation of where she didn't have the facts so she said this whole time that her confidence couldn't get destroyed because she never had confidence in the first place because everything that she would do in the first place was based off of facts so it didn't require confidence so once she was put in a situation where she required confidence it was different for her but hell she pulled through in the end and shout out to miyabi also for for helping with that i mean they all helped in the end you know but I, a, a really cool, like, group. I actually really, really like Section 6. Oh, yeah, Jane Doe. You know, Jane Doe is incredibly intelligent also, yes. That is true. But, um, it'd be interesting. Yeah, those two against each other would go crazy. That would go crazy. 
I feel like I would give it to freaking uh Yanagi though. Yanagi. I mean, maybe that that's just recency bias, but I don't know. She just seemed like on a whole different level, just like crazy intelligent and strong. So there is that. enjoyed this video. If not, you're going to Femboy IHOP.